Hey everyone, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 77. And before I start the tutorial, I want to give a shout out to, uh, her name is uh, Samantha Mamudla from California. She gave me the okay to use this puzzle. And also the other day I was interviewed by Matt and Alex. It's called the All Day Breakfast Show. Uh, uh, Podcast1.com in Melbourne, Australia. Thanks guys, that was a lot of fun. Now, in this particular puzzle, what I want to do is to show you some tricks that uh, you could probably use, well, you can use, and uh, let's get going straight away, shall we? Here we go. Well, first of all, we'll start off with just doing the basics, getting it going, and right at the very beginning, I'm going to give you some clues and some tricks. We'll do uh, TMB. LCR, cross meet, then uh, small, uh, say rows, columns and blocks with only say two or three cells empty. So let's go. We'll start off across here. We have two ones. We have a one at the bottom and a one at the top. One could go there or there, but before I put them in, I look down. Here's a one here, so that means that this one becomes a big one. Let's go, we're off. Okay, twos, no twos, threes. Well, here we come. This is something important, and I'm going to actually put a line around this square. The title of this tutorial is A Little Square in the Block. And I'm going to call, when you've got four numbers in a square like this, we'll call that the little square. I'm just going to put a line around it, just to remind you, that's what I mean by a little square. And what's the advantage of, of seeing those is, is coming up. Okay, now let's look at this three over here. There's no two other threes in here, but if you look at this block here, three can't be in here, it has to go there. So I'm going to put the two little threes in, and let me tell you, that's a little trick that if you use later on in the puzzle particularly, it becomes very valuable because it, usually it means that you can use what we call the uh, rule of exclusion. Let's see what happens. Okay, pushing right along. Um, threes, any fours? No. Fives, yes, we do have two fives, a bottom and a top. So all the fives in this block will go here, but you either keep it in your memory. Some people, they say, in memory, uh, help. Well, if you can't do that, you can do a little, give yourself a little clue and put a little five here if you want to, to give you some light with an arrow or something like that, or, or just a line, just to let you know that those three could be, one of those could be a five. Okay, six is only one, six, two, one, seven, one, eight, no nines. Okay, go to this group now. We have only one, one. Um, we have two twos, we have a top and a bottom, so we know that all these little, this row of three cells could be a two, we don't know which one. But if you can't remember it, if you're a beginner, you may want to do this, just put a little two there and an arrow and something like that to let you know that these, one of these is going to be a two. You don't have to, if you're experienced, use your memory, you know, Sudoku's good for your memory. I think so, if I remember rightly. <laughs> okay, here we go. You know, fours, threes, threes, fours, only one four, no fives, uh, six, no only one, only one six, no sevens, uh, no only one eight, only one nine. Okay, we go to this bottom section here now. We have a top, uh, we have a one, any ones? No, 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 not yet. Okay, we have a twos, two, oh, no, that's going up, that will go to that in a minute. Five, five, this one is going to be a five. Top, middle, bottom. Yeah, that's going to be handy, I'm sure. Let's now do the vertical blocks. Take the ones, where there are two ones, center, a right, and a left, and it has to be here. So we've got the one that can go over there. Now let's look right. Remember that little habit to get into, and it's easy to forget. One, one. Over here, we could have a one and a one as well. Good. Okay, that's the ones. And what about the two? What about these? We've only got three in here. What about the twos? Well, we know for a fact, hmm, here, look at this. There's two, three, and four missing in here. 
There's a four there, which means that the four cannot go there. It has to go here. Now, what's the ramification of that? Well, it means that we have a matching pair to come in here with two selves, and it's the two two numbers that are left, and it could be it's got to be a two. And the other one would be a three. Okay, we have a two three matching pair. I'm going to refer to that a little later because I can see something coming up. With that, if there's a two here for sure and there's a two there for sure, we know that up in this column here, these three, one of those is going to be a two. So I'll put a little two there. Um, whew, threes, well, there's only, there's only the one three in here, then we'll have to leave it that. Uh, fours, so there's two fours, there's a four here and a four here. Right, center, a four has to be in this row of uh, column uh, of not row column of cells one two and three so we can put a little four there and an arrow down too if you want to whoops i'll just put a little line down just to let remind us that four has to be in here somewhere fives there's only one five six there's only one six seven there's only one seven eight only one eight only one nine so we'll now go to this set of vertical blocks Let's look at the ones. Well, we have a one here, and we have a one up there, so a one can go there and there. Okay, good. Twos, we have two twos. We have a center and a left. The two must go in here, so we'll put that two in there. Now, here's a little clue. If that two is there, remember that in this column here, Twos could go in three spots, but it can't do it now because they've already got a two. So we can put a little two in here if we want to. Now, where were we? We're, right, we're at two, anybody, anything in three? No, fours, fives. We have two fives. We have five here and a five here. And so that means that we can put a little five in here and a little five in here. That's great. Sixes. Well, we have two sixes. We have a six set up, six on the right. Six has to be in here. Aha! Uh -huh. It can't go there because of that six, so it has to go in here. Now, there's two things I want to point out here. First of all, we have another square within the block. And this is important. Let's see if you can work out what the importance of that is. Whoops, I made a little oops there. Okay, here we go. And going up this here, just to remind you, that's the square within this block. Okay. Now, have a look at this seven here. That seven cannot go to in any of these spots here. Or those spots for that matter. The only place a seven can go in this block is here and here. Now that's important to know because later on that's going to help, I hope, Okay, so there's your second example of a square within a block. Now, where was I? We were doing sixes. Oh, with six, we have a top, a bottom. Here we have another six. We can go that way. All of these could be a six. Um, six, no, no sevens, one, eight, no nines. Okay, we'll go this, this lot in here now. Uh, ones, no, uh, twos, no. Threes, we do have two threes, three, three. One of these is going to be a three. I look over here, we don't have a big three, so we'll just put a little three in here so that we know that one of these is going to be a three. If you wish, you don't have to. Um, fours, no fours. Fives, we have two fives. We have a five here and we have a five here. So that means that one of these is going to be a five. Sixes, no. Sevens, no. Eights, no. Nines, no. So, I don't know about you, but I have just noticed. This is fantastic. It's called the cleaver pattern. Have a look at this. In these two blocks here, we have five, 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 five. They make up the blade of a cleaver. Now, a cleaver, for those of you who don't know anything about it, and I'll give you clues uh, and other tutorials and lessons about the cleaver down underneath the video here, but a cleaver is a big blade that butchers use, and it has a handle, which is this section in here. Now, the 
So what it means also is that if there's a five here, five in a five here, and a five here, their five has to go in the handle here. And this being the handle, there's a five down here, so it can't go there. This will become a big five. Now you may say, what's the logic behind that? Let me show you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If this became a five, then that won't be a five, but this becomes a five, so you have top, middle, bottom. That became a five. If this became a five, that can't be a five, so it would go five, five, five. In both cases, there will always be a five there. Got it? Let's push on. Now we've got two fives in here, so let's continue on. We have a five and a five. Remember we said that we could have a five in here, this section in here? Well, here's a five here and here's a five there. This now becomes a five. And so we we solve that situation. And because there was only two places for the two, that two goes and it becomes a big two. Wasn't that neat? Okay. Um, five, five, five. Did I cover everything now? Yes, that cleaver really helped us get a new number and other numbers as well. Now we do what we call the cross meet system. And uh, when I firstly looked at this, uh, there's not that many clues. Usually with cross meet, you usually get big numbers, but not, not on this puzzle. Uh, let's take the ones, for example. One, one, and we, we cross, cross here. No, that won't work. Cross here. No, two, it's already there. One's here. No, it's already there. Uh, is there one that we can... No, there's no ones there. One across there. One down in here. We have one, two, three. Two, three places. Too many. Uh, and so on. And the ones are all there. Twos. Twos. We do two, 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 two. There's all up and down in here. And all up and down in here. Um, so that doesn't help us much. Threes. So let's try. Here's a three. Uh, there's no threes up in here to cross with. Okay, here's a three. There's a three here. Uh -huh. That doesn't help us. Um, okay, pushing right along because uh, you've got all kinds of threes in there. Fours, well, there's only, there's only two fours in here and when they're in a vertical blocks, you can't do a cross meet. Fives, well, pretty well all the fives are, are there. I think we've got most of them um, except for in here. Um, sixes, here we have a six coming down here. And a six across here, okay, no, that can't be right. No, that won't work. Six here, take this up here and six here. One, two, three cells, too many. We just want a place where we can place it in two little numbers in two cells. Sevens, sevens here, take this seven, come across this to this block. Seven across here, take this seven, come up to here. Aha, we've got some close, but we can put a seven there and a seven there. That's great. Well, now, what about eights? Well, if you take this eight and go across there, and that eight go up there, well, the only places for an eight in this block are there and there. Very handy to know. Okay, now, what's the next step? Nine, 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 nine. Well, there's nothing here we can do with a nine. Go up in here, go across there, you've got one, two, three spots, too many. So now we look for a, a row, block, or column with only three empty cells. Now, there are a couple, I think, somewhere. Yes, uh, have a look at this column here. We can ignore these two cells because they are spoken for. We don't know which is going to be a three or which is going to be a two, but it's going to be there for sure. But these are empty. So what can go there, I wonder? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight. Six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight. Have a look. Before I put any little numbers in, always look around first. Here's a six and a seven. So that means that has to be an eight. And if that is an eight, this becomes a six, seven matching pair. That often happens when you've got three empty cells. Now, what about the ramifications of that eight? Top, middle, bottom. This becomes big eight. Okay. And we can say goodbye to that eight. Now, what's the ramification of that? Looking, looking, we went to the right, now we're going to look down. Center, left, there's going to be an eight in here somewhere. There's an eight down on the bottom here, so we can put a little eight over there and in there. 
Well, that was good ramification. Neat. Now we, uh, we know what do we look for now? Mm -hmm. Well, um, let's have a look uh, at this row here. There's one, two, three left there. Okay, what are the numbers? Three, four, and nine. Okay, before putting any numbers in, let's look around. Let's look at this one here. There's a three nine there. Oh, that's great. So that becomes a four. And we finish up again with a matching pair. Here we have a three nine, and here we have a three nine. Now, now that we have uh, that taken up, we can't do anything more with that because once you've got a, a matching pair, you can't put any other numbers, or little numbers or big numbers there for the time being. Anyway, let's look at this. Here we have a right, here we have a centre. Now that there's two spaces for a four, we can put a little four there and a little four there. Okay, let's see if that does anything for us. Okay, now let me see. Let's take, oh, look at this. We have a three by three, or some people call it a triplet. Only three numbers can go in there. What are the three numbers? Uh, two, six, and nine. Now, there's different ways you can do this. You can keep it in your head, or you can put it, put it over here for the time being. Two, six, nine. Just to keep it in your head. But bearing in mind that the six has to be in there, let's look at this. Here's a six. The six has to be in here. So you have a middle, top, and in this block it has to be on the bottom. It can either be there or there. But now let's look down. Whoop, there's a six here. If that's a six... Um, therefore, this here cannot, that can't be a 6, but this can be a 6. So guess what? We're going to get two numbers from that. That 6 means that this becomes a 4, because it was 4 was only going in two spots. Wasn't that neat? Now, if this is a 6, this becomes a 7. Get rid of that 6, and this becomes a 7. That becomes a 7, and this 7 here can go kaput. Okay, now you're left with a matching a matching pair, there's two empty cells. If that's 3, 9, this has to be a 3, 9. Let's look around. Ah, look, there's a 3 over there, so that makes this a 9. And this becomes a 3. And if that's a 3, this becomes a 9. Uh, that becomes a 9. And the other one becomes a 3. Okay, this becomes a 9. And this becomes a 3. Well, that was tremendous. Just that, discovering that six, I'm understanding that a six and a two would have turned up there. Now, what about a nine? Ooh, nine can go in there as well somewhere. It could go there and there. We can put the two little nines in, if you wish. Okay, fine, now it's pushing right along. We've now got two empty cells in this row. Well, it's easy to work this out because if, I don't know if you notice this, we have a seven and a four, here we have a 7 and a 4. There has to be a 7, 4 or 4, 7 matching pair in there. Okay, so this 4, 4, 4 will give it a, each one a 4. And 7, 7, 7. And that'll be handy to know. 7, 7, 7. Sorry, my, my printing is not very clear today. Is that better? Okay, 4, 7, 7. Wow, never. Boy, oh boy. Let's look at... Oh, let's, let's look over here. We've got a column with only two left. It's a matching pair. And what are the numbers? Eight, eight and nine. Before writing any eight or nine in, let's have a look around. Here's a nine. So that can't be a nine. So that'll be the eight. And this becomes a nine. We've got that whole column now done. Fantastic. Now, and that fits, 9, 9, 9, 8, 8, 8. That's good. See, double check, self-checking. Okay, now, let's, we're pushing on right along. Now, these two numbers can help us, I'm sure. If you take this 9 and that 9, middle, top, bottom, a 9 cannot go there because there is a 9 up there, so it has to go there. Now, if it goes there because there were two ones in here, 
this becomes a big one. Okay? Now let's look at the ramifications of those two new numbers. We've got a left, a center, has to be down here on the right. Let me see, there's a nine here, so it could be a nine in here and a nine there. Now the other one was a one. Here's the bottom, middle, has to be over here. Oh, it can't be there, why? Because there's a one up there. So it has to become, this one has to become a one. And because if we did that, two things can happen here. First of all, we have a center, we have a right, and down here, this becomes a really big one. So we'll make it a big one. That was a pun, big one, okay? This is a big one, and that one goes, and I'll leave, and we don't sure if there's more numbers to go in there. I'll leave that for the time being. Um, one of those is gonna be an eight. Um, now, where was I now? We got rid of that five, so this becomes a five. Remember we had two fives there? So now this becomes a five, and look what's going to happen. The cleaver is going to do its thing. Remember the cleaver? The cleaver, that being a five, this five goes, and this becomes a big five. Okay? If that becomes a big five, let's check it out. Middle, top, bottom. Perfect. Wow, look at that, eh? That was neat. Now... Uh, here, see, when I did this six, oh, I didn't do a six down here. Oh, look, that seven goes, and this becomes a six. It's how easy to miss. That's the six, because it was a six, seven, remember? Now, see what's happened here. We have a six, six, middle, top. This becomes a six. Well, that was neat. Now, let me see, does that help here? Well, we know we can have a six over here and a six over there. Whoops, that was supposed to be a six. Uh, I'll get it right yet. Two sixes there. And the two, we don't know, the two could go in three of them yet, but we'll see how we go. So if that's a six and that's a six, we have two left in here and we have two left in there. In this row, what is left? We have a one, two, three, we have a four missing, five, six, seven, four and a seven. Okay, now watch this, folks. Uh, this is what I want to teach to help you remember something here. Remember when I said this big square in the a square within a small square within the the block? These sevens here were such that they are the only one of those is, has to be a seven. If only one of them has to be a seven, the rule of exclusion says this seven has to go. We can exclude that seven. So that leaves us with a four. Okay, look, watch what's going to happen now. Four. And this becomes a f seven. Look around to see what this is going to do. That becomes a seven. Here's a seven up here, so that becomes a four. And this becomes a seven. We finished, we filled up two blocks here. Fantastic. Now, let's check it out. Four, 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 yeah, seven, seven, seven. Beautiful, okay. Now, now that we've got a four there, let's look at the ramifications of the four and this four. We have a, a center, a right. Over here, a four has to go here on the left. Good, now what about the seven? Well, the seven, we've already got them there, so that's good. Um, have you noticed that here we have a column with only one number left? Well, it has to be an eight. I think one, two, three. Yes, an eight. Now, what does that mean? We have a bottom, a middle, and a top, great. Now we have two left in this row and one left in that block. Well, let's do the one that's left first. It has to be a one, two, three. That becomes a three. And if that becomes a three, left, right, this becomes a three. Okay, now a ramification of that is that this becomes a two. See that here? And finally, we're gonna do something with these. That becomes a two. 
and uh, this becomes a, a three. And now, because of that, that three, middle, bottom, top, this has to become a three because we've got a three there and we've got a three there. So this is going to be our three now. And now, and now I, I missed something back further in the ramification. I wanted to suddenly notice, did you notice that um, we're missing three and a seven in there? So why not fill it in? Three and a seven. Before we fill it in with little numbers, let's look around. If there's a three and a seven missing, there's a three there, so that'll have to be the seven, and this will have to be the three. Now we've got top, middle, bottom, seven, seven. This becomes a seven because there was only one left. Did you notice that before? And in here we now only have two left, and it's a one, two, and uh, four, four, has to be a four. We're getting, we, we, we're starting to get somewhere here. Now, when I put this eight in, I forgot a ramification. Duh. Because um, I'm looking at this in here, and we have three little numbers that can go in there. There's an eight missing, and, and because we have a center, we have a left, and we have a right. So an eight should go in here and there. But if you look down here, here's an eight, eight nine, seven, eight, nine, that means that this becomes, a, this can't be eight, nine, because there's an eight, nine there, so that becomes a big seven. And this seven can go, and we have a matching, a matching pair, eight, nine. Now, I wonder where we're going to go from here. Whew. Let me see now. Any ideas? Okay. Have a look at this. When I put the four in here, we had a four that's supposed to be across there. We had sixes across in here. Okay, now we have that four. I didn't put the fours in here as well. So we have a four and a six. Well, look at this. Before I put them in, I noticed a four up in here. So if that's a four up there, this has to become a six, which means that this becomes a four. I jumped in and I missed a couple of spots in there, but what does that do? Look at this. That makes this a two. Okay. And it makes this a four. And we finish that row and that block. I hope we're going well. If this is a four, that's a four, that's a four, that's correct. If that's a two, oh, we now twos. Up in here, let's have a look to see what's missing up there. If this is a 6, that cannot be a 6 up there. So, and it can't be a 9. We have a 6 and a 9, so it has to be a 2. If that's a 2, we have a 2. We can't have a 2 there. We can't have a... Well, if that's a 2 and this is a 2, right, centre, this has to be a 2. Right, centre, left. Now, let me see what's missing. Well, here we go. I'm just looking around here to see what we can do. Right now, what about, oh, look at this. Here's a seven, okay? Here's a seven. A seven cannot be there because of that seven. So this becomes a seven. Oh, I, lucky I saw that, seven. It's easy to miss. This now becomes an eight, okay? And we've got one left, and what is it now? Let's have a look here. It has to be a nine. If it, that's the only one left, let's look nine. If that is a nine, look at the ramifications of this. That becomes a nine. Therefore, this one here becomes a, an eight, because as a nine goes, that becomes an eight. And this becomes a nine. As a result, middle, top, bottom, and bottom, middle, top. Great. We're left with just this behind. Oh, we've done all right. This is never yeah, goes different every time we do it. It depends on what you see and when. Let's see now. We have a six, six. This has to be a six. Right, left, center. If that has to be a six, guess what the other one's going to be? <laughs> That's going to be a nine. Six here and a nine here. And let's have a look around the block. Let's see if we can see anything here. I think that's it.
Yeah, whoopee, man. We did it. Phew. Well, it does make you feel good when you solve a puzzle, doesn't it? Well, next time I'm going to be showing you a really neat puzzle. It's a pattern. And I got it from the uh, Los Angeles Times. So, so that's it. We, looked, we learned today about how to watch for a small square in a block. There's one in here and there's one in there. So I hope you understood that. Have a great uh, day. See you next time. Bye for now.